Okay, so um, we have been completely sober and professional for yeah. part of the day. Yeah. So we're giving you a professional evening review of where are we at again? Uh, Mondol. Like Excellent, Mondol, which is like the Paris of Sweden. Yeah, yeah, it is. If Paris is a shithole, then yeah. That's right. Anyway, um, it's been a very full day. We've had the sabre today. We've had the rapier, which was a weird competition, I think we felt. Yeah, and sword um, and buckler. We've had the sword and buckler afterwards. And, and, and right behind us is the, the grappling the, the ring the and going Men on. touching men, that sort of thing. Anyway, um, let's talk about the rapier. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We talk about the rapier. Um, so, kind of an odd one, um, because all of the names got through to the eliminations. I think we did yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Some really solid fighting in the pools. Um, and then it went south for a lot of us. I mean, I got beaten brilliantly by Christine. So yeah. fantastic fencing there. You got... What I got, to you? Uh, I got beaten by Christopher Stanson. And uh, that, was a, that, that, that was a good fight from both of us. I, I started yeah. off really well and he ended really well. And so, and there were some lovely fine. fights as well. Yeah. I, mean, I think yeah. uh, Rory, a uh, uh, co-instructor of mine, you find one of the Russians, had a fantastic yeah. fight as well. Yeah. Um, Victor Harder Hessel as well, just a real joy to watch fighting against uh, yeah. Andreas. Who went Andreas, out, yeah, I, I did. I, I coached Andreas in all his fights, and it was really, really cool. Andreas is one of the best rapier guys in Sweden, and I coached him. It's not my effort, of course. Andreas was doing the fighting, but his fight against um, uh, against Victor and against Renis Rinka, yeah, Renis was brilliant, beautiful technical yeah. stuff from Renis today. Yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. So in the final. We have the we got the two Russians, yeah, and then we got Pimaka Tomanello against, against Andrea Andreas. Andreas. Um, and it's gonna be, and it will be kind of the rematch from like five years ago or something. I think one of the um, one of the things we're gonna have to say, which is probably gonna be a little bit controversial, uh, the Russians here are really, really nice, friendly guys. What they do yeah. though is they are taught that the person who hits first wins um, or gets the point. And the issue with that, of course, is you just go for the attack regardless of whatever is coming because if you can get that point, it encourages that, that sort of title offensive. Um, and um, I'm a little bit concerned by that because it did mean that some of the more humor, yeah. put it, some of the more martial things went by the wayside. But what are your thoughts on that? I completely agree, actually. Uh, they are great guys, great athletes. Uh, but they tend to kind of want to right, jump in and get the point uh, and they maybe sometimes they don't care about the consequences of it which is uh, yeah, I think HEMA people have a little disadvantage in their yeah. fights and that's uh, Will they have a disadvantage because of the rules or, or what? I mean, is this a cultural thing that we're going to have to do? It's one of those big questions I don't think we can yeah, I think answer with several beers inside it. <laughs> we can try yeah. Yeah, Maybe it is try. Maybe we could have a few more beers and come up with it yeah, or beers even. Yeah. yeah. Why okay. not? Yeah. yeah. But no, I, I think it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, it will be. It and will I think be. we're going to. Yeah. It will be interesting because um, they did very well in the saber. They're in the finals and that. Uh, they did very well in the rapier. Yeah. Now, sword and buckler. What happened there? Uh, sword and buckler was an invitational tournament uh, again because we want to try it out. For some years, sword and buckler has been kind of the dark horse in the competition. It, it, it's been quite ugly, quite messy and everything. So what Swordfish is doing, they doing an invitational, bring like 14, 15, 16 guys in uh, and girls in uh, to do kind of a, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I a, must a, add, they're arming swords as well. So um, yeah. Bolognese style with a forward ring as well with a lot of mm. flourishing isn't really practical with it. No. It, it's but, quite difficult. To yeah, do but we saw, I have to do a little shout out to Jack Gassman. He did it absolutely best fight I have probably seen in Sword and Buckler. He did these really beautiful Marozzo flourishes with the buck there, bam, 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 around and completely messing up. Uh, he was fighting Mackenzie Ewing, Ewing from uh, the States. Uh, and he did, goes, and yeah. it landed beautiful hits from these flourishes. Fantastic to see. And that was that was great. That was yeah. uh, So I asked if we could give, give like two technical points, but we can only give one. I yeah. really want to give it two because it was great. In the final, we're going to have a really, really good fight in Sword and Buckler. Uh, Tom Skotner from Norway. He's a 133 Sword and Buckler guy. Wonderfully technical guy as well. Yeah, and he, he's a great guy. He's going to be fantastic. He really deserved that shot um, for, in the final against an Italian guy. I'm sorry. He comes from the Marozzo club. Yeah, so it's more so Rome, I think. Yeah, so it's um, going to be 
two completely different styles, two very, very technical fencers. And they, I think they will show us some really good uh, fencing skill with Sword and Buckler. So Again, with, with no disrespect to um, no, 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 uh, no. Uh, uh, Russian colleagues, no, not, not at all, not at all. Not at all. For me, for me I think the Sword and Buckler is sounding the most exciting so far if, if we're wanting to see a display of what we interpret as a, a martial form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. So, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that, uh, to that final. And uh, Reiki is also going to be really interesting and I think it will be good. We've got two Russian defenders to say, but as yeah. I said, we've got Andreas and Pim yeah. um, fighting that. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, final words on um, so the judging, how it's gone today. Um, I think it's been pretty well. sound. Yeah, and yeah. I have to, again, this, uh, the American guys coming over, they've also brought a lot of skill when it comes to judging and that that's something we need. We have four maps. Like you have four maps and to get, then we need like uh, at least 16 judges. And to find 16 solid judges who can work a whole day. Plus all really the support staff yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's a long day as well. So, so the Americans brought some great judging skill. And they have, uh, they've done well at uh, Longpo during the years. Yes. Yeah, really Teaching good. Teaching themselves how to judge, how to be, to view fights in a, in a very, very skillful way. So... Thanks for that. They're doing, they're, they're doing great. Really. Okay, so um, to this compilation we're going to put together, we're going to have a load more fights tomorrow. Um, hope you've enjoyed a lot of the technical stuff um, today. Um, hopefully we can, well, I mean, you'll be judging tomorrow night, won't you? Uh, tomorrow, at least. Yeah, I will. Finals, yeah. I'll, in the long, no, 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 I won't. I, I'm going to judge the long sword tomorrow, but I have to, I'm going to coach Andreas tomorrow in the fight. So you're not spin. actually going to do any of the judging? No, I don't okay. think so. No. Alright, um, I'll be doing interviews for the live stream, um, you'll get this after it's all gone out, yeah. but if you uh, haven't already, check out the live stream for Swordfish 11. Okay, cheers. Cool. Okay.